We've all heard about famous artists and their work, but one painting has always captured our eyes. That is the American Gothic. So many have seen the painting and are mesmerized by it, but do you know the actual story behind it? Today, we look into the history and story behind American Gothic. So, without further ado, let's dive right into it. Perhaps known as one of the most well-known pieces of American art from the 20th century is the American Gothic. Grant Wood produced one of the most enduring symbols of Americana. You may be familiar with this painting of a wife and a farmer, it is the American Gothic. When it made its debut at the Art Institute of Chicago in 1930, it catapulted the artist, who had previously been a lesser-known painter of Impressionist landscapes with French influences, to the status of instant celebrity. This seemingly straightforward depiction of a stern-looking agricultural couple has captivated the nation's attention and is frequently imitated in popular culture. American Gothic painting's significance has changed through time, despite Wood's original intention for it to be a positive message about rural American ideals. But the picture is made much more intriguing by the tale of its creation and how it became famous. The majority of us are familiar with the picture, a man holding a pitchfork menacingly, with a woman beside dressed to the nines as rigid as a rod. A timber home with a sinister black window is behind them. This is American Gothic, an iconic work of American art and a representation of rural life in the Midwest. The Grantwood painting, created in 1930, has been the focus of analysis and satire in the art world for over a century. Numerous historians saw the artwork as a humorous reflection on the stolid Midwesterners who were disconnected from the new industrialized world. But the artist has consistently maintained that there is more to the picture than first seems. Driving through the Iowa hamlet of Eldon gave American artist Grant with the idea for the subject of this painting. He came upon the white mansion that is seen in the painting's backdrop and was constructed in the 1880s using Carpenter's Gothic design. The painting's name derives from the Americanized version of Victorian Gothic that was popular in rural America throughout the 20th century. This traditional, rural home served as Wood's starting point for creating a plausible story. Wood began looking for a couple of models who resembled someone who may live in such a mansion because he assumed its residents would be severely straight-laced types. Walker, whose statements had an impact, claimed that this piece was a strong all-American response to the effete and credulous art collectors of New York who were importing shiploads of garbage from the School of Paris. He came upon a painting called American Gothic that dared to show real Americans to other Americans in all their roughness. By the middle of the 1930s, copies of Wood's overnight well-known little painting could be seen hanging in residences from Long Island to Los Angeles and everywhere in between. In the years that followed, newspaper cartoonists of the time would continuously parody it, and in America's first great era of advertising, advertisers would frequently appropriate it when they discovered it had the capacity to sell everything from electrical items to bottles of whiskey. After choosing two suitable models who were strangers to one another, would purposefully dress them in vintage attire that he believed complemented this basic architectural style, coupled with things that suggested agricultural work. The person who was actually the woman was Wood's sister, and the person who was the gentleman was a local dentist. Wood stretched the windows and roof of the structure as well as the people faces to make them fit seamlessly with it. The picture feels particularly unsettling because of its unusual distortion. He also made a gloomy glass behind the duo that reflected their black attire. American Gothic has perhaps become the country's equivalent of the Mona Lisa, the one image that every American recognizes without necessarily understanding anything about its creator, his intentions, or the mystery that still surrounds it. Wood had experimented with a variety of expressive, modernist painting techniques earlier in his career as a painter. He studied in Paris for a while and tried out Impressionist methods, but Wood purposefully ignored modernism when he got back to the United States. Instead, he joined a group of American artists known as the Regionalists who portrayed the everyday life of locals in a careful, figurative manner. It all appears to be really simple. A guy and a lady stand and look at one other with unblinking, unrestrained hatred. They evoke the tintype images of relatives once maintained in books by families of modest means, including the artist's own, all through the Midwest. They have a snapshot-like quality about them. However, American Gothic was purposefully created just like many other depictions of reality that appear innocent. The architect of the structure acknowledged as much, describing how the idea first came to him while visiting the small Iowan town of Eldon. I noticed a neat white home, with a trim white porch, a cottage constructed on harsh Gothic lines. This inspired me. The plan was to choose two persons who, based on their stern personalities, would fit inside such a place. I searched among the people I knew in and around Cedar Rapids, Iowa, where I grew up, but I was unable to discover any among the farmers, as the cottage was intended to be a farmer's residence. Finally, 
I managed to get my own maiden sister to take a picture by getting her to separate her hair terribly plainly in the center and comb it straight down to her ears. Finding a guy to represent the husband was the next task. My search was ultimately limited to the neighborhood dentist, who grudgingly agreed to pose. My sister's elegant colonial print apron and the dentist's sharp, clean overalls were ordered from a Chicago mail order store. Wood claimed that one of his major goals in painting this scene at the start of the Great Depression was to convey a sense of stability and security in the midst of a period of societal unrest. He said that he was honoring deeply rooted, traditional rural values like family, hard labor on the farm, and religiosity. These beliefs were so at odds with developing modernity and cosmopolitan living that the artwork was often mocked for it. Others criticized the artwork while art critic Clement Greenberg called it rude and nasty. It was American Gothic satire that used a couple of austere and territorial individuals to parody the narrow-minded hatred and provincialism of rural America? Or was Wood only capturing the enduring traditional values seen in the less urbanized states? Wood may have known there would be some fakery in the finished picture, since so much of it was staged. There is satire in it, but only as there is sarcasm in any realistic statement. There is no doubt that American Gothic turned a lot of heads and made people question the intentions of the painting. It is still one of the most remarkable pieces created. That's all folks, if you like this video make sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time.